Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst and trading mentor. You can find at the website www.fibstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, today is uh, Tuesday, April the 29th, 2014, and it's uh, 20 to midnight uh, in uh, Toronto. And in this video, I'm going to review for you the three uh, Japanese majors, the US dollar versus Japanese yen, the euro versus Japanese yen, and the pound versus Japanese yen. Uh, this is a daily update valid for tomorrow, Wednesday, April the third, the thirty, two thousand fourteen, and um, it's uh, it's a daily review, a weekly review. I distribute in my blog, and uh, it's a follow up from the weekly uh, review. You can uh, subscribe the free newsletter on my website to receive it. Um, and um, so let's start from the US dollar versus Japanese yen, which is the chart that you see on the screen. Those who follow me know that. Um, in this uh, chart, I'll be I'll be I'll be looking at uh, this area of support here, which is a continuation higher since the beginning of the year, and we got uh, participation support and participation from this 101.50 uh, area now a number of times. Uh, I'll count them for you: one, uh, two, three, four, and five, and six times here, and. Um, uh, this support uh, was uh, confirmed twice as well uh, once we well, once we saw this uh, highs to low being pierced the 103.65 being pierced twice here yes. so um, at the moment I do not anticipate uh, you know this level 101.62 break not, it, not that easily at least because there is commitment now a number of times from even from different groups uh, on this market we saw here was um, uh, today and as the red um, bar you're seeing here is is tomorrow's bar which is already formed as the market is open and, um, um, and as you can see yesterday uh, which is today sorry Tuesday this is tomorrow Wednesday today we tested this uh, 10273 so there is participation from um, bears at that level and um, you will remember that we on the other side we saw participation from bulls at this uh, 10202 so you know there is still indecision in this market so um, if you took the trade the entry here at this level uh, partial profit should be already be taken so uh, you know, uh, you can keep this position and stop below lows here. It's a free, if it's a free risk trade, and see what happens. But clearly, at the moment, there is the possibility that uh, this this measurement will, will just will just continue lower, right? And um, so, the next level we want to observe is the uh, all the way halfway back the ambush trade here, from lows to highs. As you can see here. Uh, so far, uh, there has been uh, participation at this level. At least this level has been has been defended. Notice that the one or two uh, area of support has target uh, around this uh, one or three or five. So we didn't get there, and uh, the only way we can get there is uh, if we uh, respect the next measure move here. And as you can see, the first uh, level somehow is in that area, so we would line up and push price higher. Uh, this would uh, require that this 10237 holds this area of support holds. So let's go and study what's happening in the 15 minutes and uh, let's see how we can use the FIB stalking technique in order to in order to uh, to test this uh, area of support here. Yeah, the FIB stalking technique is a, a technique derived uh, by uh, measure moved uh, measure moves uh, sequence of measure moves. Uh, that are actually brought about in the market on all time frames uh, by program trading. Program trading is active especially on high volume markets, uh, like for example the US dollars and Japanese, which are, which are covering at the moment. Now, as you can see, we had this measure move with participation on the downside of 102.63, which brought price into first target 102.43. And to the pip uh, second target to pip almost here second target one or two thirty three and we saw some profit taking this profit taking is because uh, mm, program trading is actually taking profit outs at this second target here and of course 
Uh, another reason could be that you know this is an area of support. So program trading on the opposite side on the larger time frame is also pushing, starts pushing this price higher. So uh, to me, the confirmation that uh, this move higher will continue will come if price uh, breaks um, the uh, one or two forty four level forty five level here. If that happens, there is a possibility for this market to uh, retrace all the way halfway back into the um, the uh, 102.54. So a break of 43 with a stop below uh, low here would mean 43 minus 30, uh, 44 minus 31 would be a 14 pips um, uh, 14 pips risk here, and as you can see. We do not have enough space before we get into area of resistance. So, um, you know, if if uh, if one or two forty four is broken on the upside, um, this market could continue higher here, but will never provide a risk free trade. So, when you see this kind of situation, uh, I I just uh, stay away. Uh, I don't have to you know uh, risk money on on this kind, and I, I don't I don't suggest you risk money on this kind of trades. Of course, if you take the trade, then you want to take alpha off or even a little bit more at these levels. Uh, of course, this market could just uh, could just continue higher as um, you know there is good fund foundation on uh, on uh, on the time frames here we have. We have, you know, good foundation and support at one, two, and this is the third level, right? <clears throat> and also, we know that this market is moving laterally on top of very strong support. So, um, you know, uh, if we apply our, you know, good um, um, uh, knowledge about how the market uh, behave, uh, we know that market tends to continue in the direction of the current trend. Moving to the euro versus the um, uh, Japanese yen here, similar situation. Um, there is a support below this price at the beginning of February. There is another support which has been test tested twice, 140 level here. And um, the recent uh, move higher also um, failed, uh, broke the, uh, the back of the, um, uh, the bears, as I like to say that. As you can see here, uh, price pierced above this uh, 142.19, uh, 142.20. So there's a possibility for this market to come and uh, retest uh, all the way, halfway back. And it's already doing that, as you can see here, right to the peak 141.28. Now, if this breaks, this market is going to move in a in a so if this 141 uh, breaks 140 40.99 breaks on the downside uh, again we have uh, you know a confirmation of a situation where this market is moving laterally and and at that point uh, you know someone would trace this and never use um, trend lines um, just to use them to show if price goes below this 140.99, then uh, this price is actually moving in uh, in a uh, um, in a triangle here. So it's possible that we're gonna get into you know the lower um, the lower uh, edge of this uh, symmetric triangle, and there we will need to study what happens to the sequence of of measured move, preferably on the 15 minutes here. And I'm not gonna. Um, you know, look at uh, that sequence. So well, uh, it's still uh, it, it is still early, but uh, we can we can we can give a look at that and see uh, what the market has been uh, trading. And uh, as we can see, we have a traditional here, uh, which is traced from this highs to lows, and this was able to bring price into first and second target. So at the moment, this market is uh, trading in extension short. So. We should see it uh, continues. Uh, we should see a continuous slide here until we get into this potential level of support. Anyway, if we break 140.99 uh, as soon as the sequence of measured move on the 15 minutes fails, uh, we should buy this market and try to uh, you know go to the upper edge of this triangle and possibly now continuation higher. It's also possible that this 140 level 
is retested again and uh, you know we don't know what the market is going to do so we just use a procedural way fib stalking technique to test support and resistance and that's give a, a very good um, you know and an objective way to uh, to enter the market with with a very low risk moving to the pound versus japanese yen we have a similar situation here on the weekly time frame the uh, support uh, came uh, and was respected around the beginning of february here then the market uh, showed another area of support on the daily and um, and at some point it also showed that it was in a lateral move uh, so we saw this 168.75 offering support and at some point we had uh, the, the bears um, had their uh, back broken here when price went above 141 uh, um, 171.42 here and um, I'm going to remove this uh, for a moment and uh, soon after the bulls uh, were, had their uh, back broken here and when that happened you know now that um, this is a triangle and um, I don't I don't use triangles I just you know I keep using levels generated by applying uh, the fib stalking technique here and the fib stalker method to price but uh, um, you know that's uh, if we if we get a continuation lower now uh, we know that there is a possibility for this market to go and trade back into this 170.50 and this would be also a level where um, price meets this this trend line so um, it doesn't mean that we are going to trade the trend line or going to trade um, we, what we are going to trade is this level and then we are going to use the FIP stalking technique to test this support uh, in a very procedural and objective way uh, this is it for this review I hope you you enjoy it I hope this is useful for your trading uh, if you have any questions just shoot me an email and uh, if you want to receive more of this analysis and this helpful just go to my website fibstalker.com and subscribe for my newsletter that's free and uh, i uh, respect your privacy um, i hate uh, spam as much as you do and i'm going now i'm going to distribute the email to anybody it's gonna be used only for the purpose of the newsletter and the communications thank you very much and uh, Enjoy your evening and enjoy your trading day and trading week. Um, continue trading, continue trading week tomorrow. Bye bye now.